Hey everybody, it's Mr. Puggle here coming at you another one lands video. Today I want to help you pick your character background and make sure you're not picking the greatest mistake that you could probably make when making your character because this is something that will be permanent. So if you guys haven't even played the game yet, hopefully you haven't quite made your first character because I'm going to be telling you five character backgrounds that are in the game and why you shouldn't pick any of them except for one single one because it is much better than every single other one <laughs> but before we can get into the meat and potatoes of the video don't forget to like comment subscribe and follow me on twitch on the top right we're going to be streaming as soon as the game comes out so that should be in just a couple of hours right now so hopefully i'll see you on stream in a few moments on the top right and let's get into it legendary whoa no way <laughs> So as you can see here, after you created your monstrosity or even your gorgeous little character <laughs> like we have on the right, you have a choice between five different character backgrounds. Now there's going to be Village Idiot, Raised by Elves, Failed Monk, Recovering Inventory Hoarder, and Rogue Alchemist. Now none of these, despite it having fun little flavor text, have any effects on your character, like any dialogue or anything besides the stats. And the stats are extremely important to try to optimize because picking one of these over the other can really make your build detrimental in the future because you are not going to be able to change this at all hopefully in the future you'll be able to change this like for those of you who already curated your character and didn't pick a certain one <laughs> because you're kind of in a rougher patch than you could be right off the bat which is a bit unfortunate so village idiot gives you eight plus strength and negative three intelligence raised by elves gives you plus two dexterity negative four constitution Failed Monk gives you negative 4 Strength, negative 2 Dex, plus 2 Intelligence, plus 4 Wisdom. Inventory Hoarder gives you negative 2 Dex, plus 2 Intellect, negative 2 Constitution, 5 in Attunement. And finally, Alchemist gives you negative 2 Dex, 5 plus Wisdom, and negative 5 Con. Now, if you look at all these, there's a bunch of negatives. The only one that doesn't have mostly negatives or at least the least amount of negatives is Village Idiot. And if you look at all the other ones, they don't give an equal net gain over the others. Like Raised by Elves give you a negative four and then plus two. That's a negative two net gain on your base hero stats, which is very unfortunate. And just for a little bit of dex, which isn't even that great, we could totally go over more in the future. But I just need to get right up to the bat and just tell you that you need to get Village Idiot. This gives you a net gain of five points which is the most out of any of the other ones that I showed as well as giving you eight points into strength like I just said but eight points into strength gives you 10% critical hit damage and that might not seem like a lot but critical hit damage is really significant 10% right off the bat is huge that is going to increase your damage on crits up to like 20% in total even though it just says 10% if you were to consider everything like multipliers and other stuff like that I don't know I don't want to get into a big math debate on why it's such a big decision to try to get this and go into the damage formulas but basically you get Getting this 10% critical hit damage is going to increase your total DPS by a lot. So make sure to get this right off the bat. If you chose anything else, I'm sorry to say, but you're not going to get as much DPS as anybody else that picked Village Idiot, especially considering we can create unbody shots now. And you might be thinking that the negative 3% spell cooldown rate is very inconvenient, but the negative 3% spell cooldown rate really just translates to, say if you had a spell that had a 10 second cooldown, it's only going to increase its cooldown by 0.3 three seconds which is not a big deal at all once you get to a spell cooldown on other spells that have like 20 seconds it's going to be 0.6 seconds but it, that's really not a lot seconds go by really quickly when you're in combat so it doesn't matter at all make sure to get village idiot <laughs> because the big mistake getting anything else and even if you just created your character you're just watching this video i'd be hard pressed to say maybe even restart your character if it's not too high level just to get village idiot because it's really good it 10% critical hit damage, as I said, to Adnesium is very, very strong. So make sure to get this if you haven't already. And as always, a big shout out to the members who make these videos possible. We have Jace Noodles, Clairvoyance, and Rick and Glacius. These are the people who support me as little as $5 a month. And you can support me as little as $5 a month by becoming a member with the link in the comments the description or in the top right. The more members we have, the closer I get to becoming full time, which means more videos for you guys. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs> and the last shall be first to immerse in a pass out heat. Facing him up with a moxie melt. And he woke up drowning in Chachki hell. Born a cave with a torch on a wall, then a window arrangement of porcelain dolls.